How are you doing today? All right. How's everybody? Seconds. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yep. Well, I see you're prepared today. You yeah. got an umbrella. <laughs> I do have an umbrella. Yeah, you're prepared. Yeah, I wasn't expecting rain, but I, I smelt it when I after stopping thanks. After stopping by the sheriff's department. <laughs> did it, did you guys uh, have a policy change with the backpacks? Or talk to him. Yeah. He can give you the option if you want to hold us to hold it or you can take it with you. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And if if somebody opts to, to leave it here, do they get like a receipt or anything like that? Well we log it in our log and it just sits out front here. We don't take it anywhere but in a public area. Okay. Have you guys thought about like a um, lockers or something like that for people to be able to just don't have the facility to put yeah. the lockers in. Yeah. As far as the building, we <laughs> we actually talked about putting in, you know, because we're required to have a, a pistol locker. Right. Where you can see a weapon. We thought about putting one outside there yeah. to put one. But do they just take it to the sheriff's department? Be, no, we have a locker in my oh, office. Oh, okay. So when they take it in, they lock it. So they just they announce it when they come through they, and they say, hey, I've, I've got a weapon. Yeah. Okay. And they have a, they, they have to show us their concealed weapons. Permit. Right. And the driver's license, and then we lock it up, and then we confirm that they're still yeah. valid. <laughs> right, 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 right. Do, do they get a receipt then for that? Like for the... right. They put it in themselves. We lock oh, okay. It. We just open and close it. All right, cool. We don't touch the fire. Like this. All right, cool. Appreciate it. Do you know if, you know if the uh, prosecutor's in today? Uh, there, I don't know. Lunch? I just got back from a meeting in the McClary, yeah. but it's 1246, so they're in lunch. Lunch, probably. So. All right. Yeah, all, the, all the offices are... Like 12 to 1 usually? 12 to 1. All right. Well, maybe there's a secretary I can leave another note with. So. All right. Thanks, then. Yeah, I don't know I can't tell us. I think their screen's down, so there's nobody in there. Oh, nobody in there at all? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll just go check anyway. Okay. So, appreciate it. Hey, I'm just trying to go around all this stuff. So you're right. Oh, I'm trying to hit the prosecutor's office. Oh. It's this way, right? Yeah. No, you're good. I just didn't want to run into any what you got going on. Thanks. I was just following up on um, an ongoing thing oh, with them. Yeah. I was gonna say if you had something to leave for, them, then put it in there. No, I didn't. I didn't actually. Um, so I did. I did last time. Uh, you have about twelve minutes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me stick around. Do you know what time they usually run on Fridays? Like, what time do they close? They, they think they close when the building closes at five. Okay. I didn't know if it was like you know Friday. People try to. Scoot out early for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, i am sorry Yeah. Forget that thing like every time. Alright, thanks.
can I help you? Yeah, is Brad available today? He is not in today. Okay. Uh, do you know if anyone else from the admin side is available to? And what's this in regards to? Oh, I know. It's following up on a um, complaint for employee conduct with the um, court security from a few weeks ago. Brad was handling it, and I was just seeing how, like, where where that is in the process, who reviewed it, and any outcomes. Okay, I'll see what I yeah. can find out. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Hi. Dave Pimentel. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. Brad Johansson is not in today, but I'll try to answer any questions I can for you. Okay. Yeah, I was just uh, trying to follow up on. I, he he took in a complaint for employee misconduct with the uh, courthouse security staff a few weeks ago. Yes, sir. And I was just seeing if there's any retraining or if there's any disciplinary action that was taken. Right. Uh, we have uh, changed our policy, as you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. we have provided uh, extra training for those employees. Okay. And can you, like the nature of the, the training, uh, what was that? Just uh, provided retraining. I don't have the curriculum, but okay. I, I wasn't the one that provided it, but okay. uh, um, training was provided and uh, verbal counseling was uh, taken with the employee mm -hmm. and uh, we're moving on and you know your backpack uh, just like anybody else's backpack now that it, once the, it's yeah. been properly searched gone through the screening process it's uh, allowed in the courtroom okay try to answer all your uh, needs and if you have any more questions I'll go grab you a card and you can give me a call whenever you like yeah that'd be good uh, okay. I think I think it's just following up on like the nature of the training you know was, was it specifically ADA you know, how to, how to help uh, somebody or, or in camp, you know. I wish Brad was here to answer your yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's not, so uh, like I said, if I, I'll give you a number, you can call me back. Okay. And sure. uh, after I talk to Brad, he's on, on the way to go on a hunting trip, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, okay. cool, thanks. Yeah. Here's my card. All right, cool. Oh, uh, shit, the front of it is, uh, all my information on the back is my cell phone. Okay. So, that way you don't have to deal with the operators and just yeah. give me direct. Okay, great, thanks. Okay, have a great day. All right, you too. All right, man. Okay. You have a good one. Do. Yeah.